and welcome to Round Robin. I'm your host, Robin McCormick with the City of Hampton. And today we are going to invite you to a special event that allows you to um, fulfill some of the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King and, and commit to some public service. My guest is Doretta Glover. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you. Now you work all the time with foster grandparents, yes. but you're one of the organizations that helps put on this event every year, right? Yes, correct. Who is it geared for? The MLK Day of Service is actually open to the public and it's geared for anyone who wants to honor Dr. Martin Luther King's legacy and just anyone who wants to make a difference in the community. That's nice. Now it is on a Monday, so you're probably not going to get school children or work people and it tends to be a, a, a day where retired folks, where older folks can, you know, they don't have to go out and paint houses. Oh, or, no, not you know, at it's, all. It's not that, it's not a very physical thing, but it's a real sense of community. It that definitely happens, is. Um, for yeah. this day. It's actually um, on Thursday, January the 12th, um, and it is a day event. And so um, most of our audience consist of senior citizen and again anyone who's interested in just making a difference um, there are no major projects such as painting homes but there are service projects that we incorporate it, that we incorporate to once again honor his legacy and servitude as well so um, what will this year's I know you vary the projects every year we sometimes do. it focuses on kids or service members or veterans or homeless so you really do spread around those works. What, what we will do. we be doing this year? Again, it's focused on children. Um, the beginning of each school year, various organizations, they do a school drive, back to school supply drive. But by January, a lot of times those uh, supplies have um, dried up. Mm -hmm. And so we do a replenishing supply drive in which we ask attendees to bring school supplies. We also do a campaign called the Gift of Warmth, and it's geared towards children who have to stand on the bus stops or maybe walk to school. So we ask that our attendees bring hats, gloves, scarves, you know, things of that nature to help keep our children warm as they make their way to school. And it's nice because these are gifts that stay in the community yes. that help people right next door, you know, Absolutely. right in our own neighborhoods. And um, it, it, you kind of see the results, maybe not yes. exactly, but you can know that you're giving to people yes, right here. Yes, definitely. So how does the day go? You also have speakers. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a full day of stuff, right? We do, we do. Um, I do want to mention that we are co-sponsored by GenCare Medical Center. Um, they've been very instrumental in assisting us um, this year. Um, we do have speakers. Um, as a matter of fact, the mayor, Dr. Donnie Tuck, will be one of our speakers, along with Sanithia Newby. She's from the Citizen Unity Commission. Mm -hmm. And so our theme this year is Unite. We're just bringing the community together to kind of, you know, despite our diversities, we just want to come together and make a difference for the community. And so uh, Ms. Newby would be very instrumental in, you know, being a change agent agent and just encouraging folks to do so. Well, you know, it is good to think about starting 2017 mm -hmm. on maybe a little bit of a different footing than we were for 2016 yes. and really do talk about uniting and finding what we have in common and working together Absolutely. Uh, um, as opposed to maybe last year and all of our differences and uh, a fairly heightened sense of um, differences and uh, antagonism versus yeah. figuring out how to come together Absolutely. because we have to we're not going to make a difference in the community or in the world if we don't all uh, work t together that is so true there's actually beauty in diversity and so when we bring all of our strengths together I think we can be a powerful force so we want to focus on that this year I do continue to read studies that show that when you not just work together, but actually talk about your differences mm -hmm. and think differently, you make better decisions. You become a more cohesive group. True. You become a group that thinks more broadly and more creatively. Yes. And um, it's, uh, it's a wonderful thing. Mm -hmm. I, I know some people get tired of talking about diversity, like, oh, can't we all just, you know, get past that or get... You have to really stop and think and appreciate it, I think. You really at least do. Now and then. I definitely agree. And so that's what we want to focus on this year. Yes. So how many people um, come to your event usually? It's An average of 200, 250. Um, wow. So, yeah, it's growing um, by leaps and bounds. And so um, 
we just want to continue the growth process and again just continue to encourage one another just to you know make a difference in the community and so I think our speakers which will be very dynamic this year will um, again be that change agent to encourage folks to do so. Now you want people to register. Yes. And they can do that, I'm sure, on the website, but I bet they can also call. We have they can call some me directly. Aren't, yes. Uh, very web savvy. Mm -hmm. Okay, and give us your number if you would. 757 727 1452. And one of the reasons you need to register is make sure we have enough space, but also you're, you're serving some food, right? We do. We provide breakfast and lunch, and um, a nice warm um, breakfast and a nice warm lunch. And so we just want to make sure we have enough for everyone. So it's very important that um, everyone would pre-register, give me a call. That sounds great. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, we can all sit at home and do some good works, or we can mail in a contribution or, or drop something in a bin, but when you come together as a group and talk about it, mm -hmm. it's more powerful. It definitely is. You know, the energy, it just encourages everyone to get out there and do something today. You know, we're sparked by one another's energies, one another's um, creative processes, and, you know, just we're encouraged to do something. And, so. and we become a community, and we make friends sometimes. Yes, definitely. And, and that uh, also helps our life, helps yes. the community as a whole. So, mm -hmm. All right, well, before we close, Doretta, do you have anything else you want to add? Um, we're just asking everyone to just come out. Um, you will not regret it. And so once again, it's very important to pre-register. We want to make sure we have food for you. Um, it is going to be a dynamic event. And so we're looking forward to it. We it really is. Are. One of the things I like is that it's not just on the holiday, okay? So right. it's not just one day a year that we think about Dr. King and what he taught us. Yes. It's, we're going to stretch that out and, and look at it for the month, look at it for the year, and keep remembering that lesson of equality and community service and mm -hmm. standing up for um, what we need. Yes, definitely, definitely. And January the 12th, we hope to see you there. Okay, thank you so <laughs> thank much. Thank you. And thank you for watching. I hope if you are able, you will join this group on January 12th and do your day of service and your commitment to your community. Thanks for watching.